Hi, it's time for Good Energy In. I'm Dr. Julie and welcome to Bodyful Day 157. We're talking about acid reflux and the senses. Today is day number four and we are talking about the vestibular sense. And you might be wondering how we're gonna put them together, but I will find a way. Join me. Let's start with the basics. All right, take a deep breath in. And release. Go ahead, expand, expand, expand and tuck. Here we go. And release. And think about anything going on today. It is warm here in Iowa, so I'm thinking about how silly it is to be wearing uh, gray capri level leggings on this warm of a day. But that's where I'm gonna breathe into. Deep breath in. And release. All right, so today, Today, we are talking about acid reflux in the senses. This is day four. We've covered sight, we've covered sound, we've covered taste, and today we're covering the vestibular system. Now, the vestibular system, remember, is where you are located in space. So how are you in relationship to gravity? And our goal through all of this is to say, okay, here's the energy to heal your acid reflux equals good energy and minus stressors, or you can think about it as your energy in general equals good energy and minus stressors. And we're talking about the fact that acid reflux is a stressor. It takes a lot of energy to kind of suppress that pain and yuck and gross stuff that's going on over that stomach and maybe some of it that's bubbling up. So what we wanna do is we wanna try to reduce our stressors increase our good energy in and so that we have enough energy to heal. And the interesting thing about the healing equation is that it doesn't matter what your good energy is. It could be good energy directed towards acid reflux, but as long as you have good energy in and you're able to reduce your overall stressors, then your body has enough energy to actually heal your acid reflux. That is the idea at least. Okay, so we are gonna talk about vestibular sense in the sense of physics. So your vestibular sense is also where you are traveling in space, up, down, left, right. Gravity is the key. So we're gonna talk about vectors and vector is direction and force. And we're gonna talk about how that can actually create acid reflux. So when we land hard on our butt. When we slip and fall, that creates a vector where everything, where your physical body drops and your organs actually go up. So if we're thinking about things that could cause acid reflux, going head over tea kettle um, or landing smack dab on your butt is definitely a way that everything moves up while the rest of you moves down and that stomach can be forced up through that small hole in your diaphragm, be forced up and stuck there. Um, we think about turning a corner really hard. Um, for you, it's more likely gonna be when you're a driver and for some reason you're making a turn. Um, you're gonna feel like everything's kind of moving up and out. Uh, we can also talk about coughing. <laughs> now, that isn't where you are in space because you are located here, but that is a vector force. That is a vector force. That cough is a rapid exhale <coughs> where you're pulling stuff up really quickly. Your diaphragm goes up quickly. And if your belly is full, a cough and, a, and the diaphragm, even though that technically should pull everything apart, sometimes it may take things with it. Uh, likewise, sneezing and hiccups, especially hiccups, because hiccups are a downward contraction of rather than an upward an upward uh, release of the diaphragm, that hiccup, that downward contraction can actually kind of cause that stomach to herniate up through that hole. And you may be thinking is herniation as something that is permanent and problem causing, but herniation can be very minimal. It can be just a little 
little bit of that fundus, a little bit of the top of that stomach, and that's where most of your acid uh, gland, acid producing glands are. And in that fundus, that's where that is what can lead to acid reflux because that fundus is producing acid above the diaphragm and that comes up the top. Now, that is how you can develop um, acid reflux without being sensitive to foods, without having too much H. pylori, without um, having too much stress in your life. So there are definitely ways to develop H. pylori that are mechanical, and that is related to vectors and gravity, and has less to do with vestibular sense, but I'm kind of hijacking that right now. Now, that is the stressor. How can we get good energy in using the vestibular sense? Well, if your stomach is jammed upward, then you really don't want to be hanging yourself upside down. You don't want to go into, um, if you're a yogi, you don't want to go into plow pose or headstand or shoulder stand because uh, plow pose, headstand, shoulder stand, um, and handstand because you don't want to have your stomach sitting right on your diaphragm and pushing through. And this would be the case with either a mechanical issue, a stress issue, or a food-based issue. You don't want that stomach sitting right up against that diaphragm because there's going to be irritation there and that diaphragm's not going to be happy with you. Um, so what can you do? You want to be able to stretch out the system. You want to be able to kind of get, use the vestibular system and your sense of gravity to kind of stretch things out. Well, sitting is definitely going to scrunch, scrunch everything up here. So standing or lying back over a ball is, yes, yes, Jim, it is time for good energy. And standing or lying back over a ball after you've been sitting for a long period of time. You can almost think about it as that arch, that gravity perspective. Um, if your head is here and you, the, your torso is here over an exercise ball, that's going to pull a stomach that's jammed into your diaphragm. It's gonna help pull it out and open it up. So we can use the vestibular sense to provide good energy in by opening up the front end of the body and using gravity to pull both the head down and the torso or the the bottom half of the body down and opening up that torso so that the stomach kind of descends from where it's stuck um so that's vestibular as well let's see if i have any other vestibular thoughts um standing don't go upside down um you can do you know we talked about last week about doing um uh um isolation tanks uh, about you know floating on salt water, but that still doesn't get that stomach out of the diaphragm if that's what the reason why the ice the acid reflux is there. But once you calm the vestibular system, like you're not going all over the place on roller coasters, and you're not driving quickly down road, and you're not keeping everything scrunched up in a ball, um, once you calm down the vestibular system in a sensory deprivation tank you are going to reduce your stressors, which means you should have good energy in, which at the beginning of this, I talked about the fact that healing acid reflux requires making the switch between stressor and good energy in. All right, anything else I can think of for acid reflux in the vestibular system? I don't think so. I think those are our basics. Don't go upside down. Uh, the gravitational pull um, will cause that stomach to herniate and um, we know that vectors direction by force times force will actually cause the stomach to herniate if you cough a lot if you sneeze and if you have hiccups so those are the basics I hope you're having a great day let's finish this off with a deep breath in and release for those of you in Iowa I think we've got just a few more days of this hot stuff and then we kind of ease into September weather. All right, have a great day.